Hi guys, today we're going to do a virtual walk around our fresh install Audi Q5. It's the 2 litre TDI, and this is the Quattro S line edition, finished in this gorgeous Mythos black. As you can tell, lovely paintwork, looks great. If we go down to the alloys, we have the 20 inch tri spoke alloys finished in black, which looks absolutely gorgeous. Really nice colourway and good paintwork as well. If we go to the front, you have your Audi LED headlights with daytime running lights, very bright and powerful lights, and they also look really great. Because it's the S-Line, you've got the nice S-Line styling kit around the car, which makes it stand out to the rest of the Audis. You've got a lovely black pack around the car as well, so you've got black grills and everything. We've got the nice Quattro badging, uh, which is lovely. If you go to the sides, you've got the nice S-Line badging as well on there, which is really nice. You've got your matching club wing mirrors to the body colour with your indicators on there too and black housing. Black trim along the outside of the windows, black B pillars, rear privacy glass. You have nice chrome roof bars as well, which is a lovely touch. If we go to the rear, you see we have the nice rear lip spoiler on top of the boot. Really nice rear tail lights. And the if we actually lock them, you can see you've got the nice sweeping indicators too, which is great. If we go and open up the boot, we'll uh, press the boot button and the boot will open. Really great boot space. You can fit absolutely loads in there. You've got load space coming too. You can also put the seats down if you want for a bit more space, which is just great. Press this button, the boot will close on its own. If we go into the car, you see you've got the gorgeous half leather half Alcantara seats, which are very comfy seats. In my opinion, one of the best. Uh, you can see very, very nice. Uh, the front seat has the back adjustment uh, part, so you can adjust it to your back, which is great. If we go to the rear, you can see we've got the same style seats. You can fit three people in there very nicely. You do also have the rear climate control ability and you also have charging too. If we go and get into the car and turn the car on, it's wireless key entry, so foot on the brake, press the stop start button, car turn on. You've got the gorgeous flat bottom S-line steering wheel, which is great. And you've also got your uh, ability to change all your dials and your digital driving dash as well so you can get all your different units up um, which are really good and you can also you can do your volume control and your hands free on this side which is great you got flappy paddles if you want to use these to change the gears which is a nice alternative too going down to the sides you have your Alcantara door cards uh, leather door handles and then you also have your fully electric automatic windows and then your child lock buttons you got electric folding wing mirrors too so you can fold them or uh, adjust them just by using this and you've got your boot latch which is located there you've got your lights which you can put to automatic so they turn on when it's dark or when it's light they turn off uh, or you can have them on, on constantly or side lights or uh, high dip beam and everything and then you've got your parking light which is great if we go to the navigation system control through this panel it's like here you can get a navigation system unit um, if you uh, plug one in uh, which is very cheap and easy to use. Uh, we do have them uh, for set when we well, well, when the car goes for sale. Uh, we normally put them in, so you do will have a navigation unit. We also have your hands-free settings, so you can get your own phone through Bluetooth, so you can speak through the car and take calls, which is great. Uh, you can also do this for uh, media stuff as well, so for music as well, you can listen through Bluetooth. You do have DAB, FM, and AM, so it's nice to have internet radio too. Put the car in reverse, you can see we have a rear parking camera and front and rear parking sensors with a nice display showing that. If we move down, you can see we've got nice climate control dual zone, temperature on either side. You've got your heated seats on either side too, which is great. And on this side, you've got your drive modes, automatic stop start, traction control, and parking assist button as well. Um, and then you've also got um, your off button, so you can turn that off, uh, the display off as well. If you go down, you can pull the handbrake, and this is the electric handbrake, so it's really easy to use on and off. If you open up here, centre console, storage space, two USB ports, and an aux point. So if you have any more questions about this car, please feel free to contact our sales team, and potentially, this could be an XU car. Cheers.